The Microsoft Excel ribbon is the most important part of the Microsoft Excel interface. It contains the majority of the program's commands. The ribbon is arranged into a series of tabs. Each tab contains a series of related commands. Access the tab simply by clicking on the name of each tab. Within each tab, commands are arranged in groups. The name of each group is displayed at the bottom of the group. The Home tab contains the most frequently used commands. Here you'll find the commands that you use all the time. Commands relating to the clipboard such as cut, copy and paste. Commands for formatting the data within your cells. Changing the font, changing the alignment and the appearance of numbers. Commands for modifying cells such as inserting rows and columns. And finally, commands for sorting and editing data. As the name suggests, the Insert tab is used for adding or inserting elements into your worksheets. Some of these elements are built into Excel, such as charts. Other elements are inserted from outside the program, such as pictures. For example, inserting your company logo. The Page Layout tab contains commands that control the appearance of your worksheet as a whole. Here you can set things like the margins, orientation, the size of paper and the area of the worksheet that's to be printed. You'll normally visit the Page Layout tab before printing your worksheets. The Formulas tab contains controls for dealing with the most powerful aspect of Excel, formulas and functions. Here you can insert functions, search for errors in formulas and control the way in which Excel works with formulas and carries out calculations. In the Data section, you'll find commands for importing information into Excel from sources such as databases, for sorting information and also for filtering. In other words, return in data which matches certain criteria. Here you'll also find advanced tools for validating data, consolidation and performing what-if analysis. And finally, in the Outlining section, you'll find commands for assigning different levels to different parts of a worksheet. The outlining commands make large worksheets easier to navigate and to manage. The general theme of the Review tab is Check-in and Protection. It's here that you'll find the Spell Checker, the facility for users to add comments to a worksheet, and commands for protecting worksheets and workbooks. The View tab contains controls relating to the way in which your workbooks and worksheets are viewed. Here you'll find commands for zooming in and out on your work and for working with multiple worksheets and workbooks simultaneously. The Developer tab relates to automation. It's here that you'll find the commands for creating macros. Macros enable you to write Visual Basic code which can automate just about every aspect of Microsoft Excel. The controls within the various tabs fall into different categories. The simplest type are buttons. Here's an example. Let's type some data in a cell and click on one of the alignment buttons. You'll notice that as I click, the selected cell responds. A second type of control is a switch, which is also called a toggle, T-O-G-G-L-E, and this is computer jargon for a switch. With a toggle button, when you click, the button becomes activated and normally changes color. If you click again on the same button, that deactivates it and it returns to its normal color. A number of controls contain drop-down menus. This is normally indicated by a tiny arrow on the right-hand side of the control. When you click on these controls, the drop-down menu unfolds and you can make a choice. Another type of control is a dialog launcher. You'll find dialog launchers in the bottom right of some of the groups within the Excel tabs. When you click on the icon, a dialog box is displayed which contains a series of options. The Excel tab takes up quite a lot of room. 
If you'd like to minimize the amount of room it takes up, you can minimize the ribbon. To do this, simply double-click on the name of any of the tabs. All the options in the ribbon still remain available. At any time, you can simply click once on the name of a tab to make the options in that tab visible. When you move away from the ribbon, it disappears once more. To make the ribbon permanently visible at any time, simply repeat the operation of double-clicking on one of the names of the tabs. In addition to those ribbon tabs which are permanently available, you'll also encounter tabs which are only available at certain times. These are referred to as contextual tabs. For example, whenever a chart is highlighted, you'll find a series of chart tools available. And these are displayed in three contextual tabs, Design, Layout, and Format. As soon as the chart is deselected, the contextual tabs simply disappear.